And this morning, we are pleased to be checking with Jalen Austinson, and uh, she's quite a basketball player. And uh, Jalen, thank you very much for taking a few minutes out of your day and, uh, and speaking with us today. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Kind of give us a background of, uh, tell us more about your team uh, and, and some of your teammates and, and, and some of the team goals uh, before we, we kind of get into this. Um, so yeah, our team, we've been together for a really long time. A lot of us have played together since like second grade. And so our, our goal since we've been little is to win a state championship. And so that's still our goal. Um, we just, they're, we're all super tight. Like we're all a super tight group of friends and teams. And it's just so fun because we're all so close. Now, uh, you guys are just coming off a, obviously a huge win uh, this last week. Of course, they're all big at this point in the season, but this one getting a little more notoriety because of the opponent as you knock off the, uh, the, the Douglas Bearcats. They hadn't lost in quite some time, and uh, you were the ones to get her done. Tell me, about, tell me about this game and how it unfolded. It was such a fun night. Um, we got out in transition. We passed the ball ahead, got fast breaks, shared the ball really well. Um, we shot the ball well. And we knew Douglas has been the best team for a really long time. And so that was our goal to come out and just, you know, we had a really good hard work um, came in for practice and we were focused and we knew what we had to do. And so we just came out and executed what we had practiced and it worked out for us. Is this, is this a confidence builder or is it more of a confirmation of you were already on the right path and, and kind of felt like you were, you as a team were, were ready to compete for that end title anyway. Yeah, um, I think that was a good, I think it was more confirmation than confidence. I mean, we, we came into the game with all the confidence, knowing that we had all the pieces to be the team to beat them. And yeah, I think that it just kind of confirmed that we were where we thought we were and we just need to keep building and getting better each game. For, uh, for those of our viewers and listeners that, that don't get to watch Newcastle very much or all the time, Tell us about some of your teammates and some of the team philosophies that you guys have. What are what what type of team are you? Um, yeah, so we really like our main thing that we stress um, is just knowing our roles for one and then playing our roles for two. So, I mean, we're all very clear on like what we have to do as individuals. And so we're not out trying to do too much during games or doing too little like we all we know what we have to do. And then our next thing is just um, doing it to the best of our abilities. And so, and sometimes our roles change from game to from game to game, but if we can all just know our roles, go do them to the best of our abilities, then we, we know that we have a better chance at winning games. You talked about the uh, team chemistry that you guys seem to have. Uh, and you've been playing together for, for quite some time. Can you, can you discuss some of your, some of your your teammates uh, specifically, and it seems like most players we speak to, that is the ends up being the more important thing than the season that they have is the the relationships that they forge throughout their their career uh, playing playing sports. Yeah, I can for sure say that every single person on my team is they're they're all my best friends, and we're all just we're all close, and especially if we're a good group of kids and we can just we don't care who scores or who does what on the team like as long as we're winning games it doesn't matter who does this or who does that we're all like we're all just as happy for our teammates scoring than we would be for ourselves or anything like that so it just it just makes it so much more fun so tell us more about what is coming up next uh for your squad what what is the what does the schedule bring you this weekend and uh what are some of the challenges that are upcoming before you head to postseason yeah, um, so this weekend we'll play Bighorn and Rollins, and so those will be two pretty good games for us. Um, we just need to go into each game. We can't look, we can't overlook any team that we play. You know, we have to prepare just as hard for each 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 week coming up. And um, yeah, down the stretch, I know that we play Douglas and Buffalo right before regionals, and so those will be those will be a couple good games. Um, I'm excited that we get to play good games and good teams right at the end. Um, not that they're not all good, but those ones will be pretty big battles. And um, playing good teams makes us better. And so if we can go have those have those games before the regional tournament, I think it'll be pretty good for us. Are there any specific uh, parts of your game that, that you'd like to see continue to improve between now and the end of the season? 
Yeah, um, I would say just kind of all the way around, there's definitely things that I want to just fine tune um, as far as like shooting, ball handling, passing, just every little thing I'm going to be fine tuning up until up until the tournaments. And as far as uh, uh, your your future as a ball player moving forward, what are what are some of your goals and aspirations that you have? Um, yeah, I kind of want to play college basketball if I could. Um, I'm not really sure what that looks like yet or anything, but um, I definitely want to play basketball after high school. And uh, can you tell us anybody, have you had the interest uh, so far or just kind of just getting the feelers out so far? Just kind of getting the feelers out, seeing where that takes me. Um, I still have a, another year of summer basketball and then another year of like high school basketball. So kind of waiting it out and seeing what happens. So I'm not really sure yet. Not to jinx anything, but looking down the road, are you, are you thinking, you know, maybe maybe we get one this year and then maybe another one next year? Are you, are, you, are you laying that foundation for maybe a repeat, even though you're still working for the first one? Yeah, um, that's that's always have been our goal since we got to high school. And this year we've become kind of more polished and we're older now. You know, a lot of us are juniors and seniors. And so, yeah, for sure. That's definitely our goal is to go and go and win as many as we can. Jay Lawson said Any, anything that we haven't touched on, Jay, that, that you want to talk about or, or mention as far as the interview is concerned? Um, not nothing really. Just I just have the best team and we have the best chemistry and I'm just super excited to see where this this season takes us well we're excited uh, for you and your squad we thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and and good luck this weekend we uh, we wish you the best yeah thank you